this one called again? Dominant. Yeah, this is dominant. <laughs> dominant. I like that. Oh shit, I'm on that drink again. Drink. We the one they talking about. We the Welcome to another episode of Raw First Class. I'm your host, Libby D. And today we have the creator of Wicked Swimwear in the building, the beautiful, lovely Danelle. Welcome. How are you Thank feeling you. today? I'm good. How are you? I'm swell. Thank you for asking. No one ever asks. Really? Mm. Interesting. Rug. <laughs> <laughs> so you are the creator, the designer of Wicked Swimwear. Yes. So tell us a little bit about yourself, Danelle. Um, for well, 30 years old. Uh, from Oakland, um, mom, and basically just coming up, trying to figure out what I needed to do to make myself a better woman, uh, building a foundation for my son. I really don't want him to have to work for many people or if anybody at all, if possible. And I don't like working for people. I'm really not like a worker bee type of person. I'm a boss. So for me, I just felt like creating my own um, swimwear line or even just my own business in itself was something that I absolutely had to do. It was like not an option for me. What made you get into swimwear? Honestly, um, because I'm a curvy woman and I'm not, I don't shy away from my curves. I'm super 100% into being curvy. Like I don't want to hide it. I don't want to like feel like I have to cover it up and I don't. And when it comes to finding swimwear that's like for curvy women, there's it's not existent. It, they literally make swimwear for you to make you feel like you have to cover your body up. It's always like tankinis or shorts and t-shirts. And it's like, basically, if I'm gonna spend $80 on a swimsuit, why do we have to look like a tank top and some shorts? I'm not with that. Um, I want the little skimpy stuff too. Like, I don't mind wearing a two-piece mm -hmm. thong on the beach. I don't <laughs> mind that. I'm okay with that. So they don't have that available. Uh, for women with curves. So I figured why not make something that's of quality that I can bring to women who have curves and not even just women who have curves, but women who want to be cute and flaunt their stuff on the, on the beach and not feel like they have to be ashamed or cover their body up because they got cellulite or stretch marks or dimples or because they're not a size fucking two. Sorry, excuse me. Size two, <laughs> size two. Um, so yeah, that's literally why. It's, Wicked Swimwear represents body empowerment uh, for women of all sizes at any weight, at all times. Like all my friends are like, oh, I can't wait to lose weight so I can wear a swimwear. No, that's not the purpose. That's not the point. The point is to wear it now in the current body you have. And if you want to lose weight, by all means, do your thing. But don't let that be the reason why you feel not, you don't feel free on a beach or you don't feel free to wear a bathing suit or a two piece or whatever it is. So how long have you been designing swimwear? So it's been over a year, honestly. Um, I've always been into creative uh, attributes, though, in regards to like design and stuff and doing little creative stuff. When I was in high school, I used to like stitch like Mickey Mouse on my jeans with like different color, like hand stitch stuff, like embroidery, like by myself. I used to design shoes, like just like take shoes, plain shoes, and like add jewels to them. I used to do a lot of stuff like that. I've always been exactly bedazzled them. I've always been really creative. So um, when it came down to it, I just was like, forget it. I had I don't I can't even draw, but I was able to sketch them up like a swimsuits out. <laughs> That's for sure. Like I literally just took I was sitting down one day. Um, actually it was like a really low point in my life to be transparent. And I was like, what can I do to make money while I sleep? And I sat down with a pen, a scratch paper and was like, swimwear line. It just popped, literally, in my mind. At like five minutes, I'm like, okay, let me think about this. Swimwear line, bam, okay. Then I came up with the name, the tagline, all within 15 minutes, no bullshit. Oh, wow. <laughs> like, <laughs> literally. You your business like that. Exactly, it was just like, okay, that was easy. Um, and Wicked Swimwear was born, like, at that table, in that moment, when I was going through a really, really, really critical time in my life where I feel like actually helped me in regards to self growth so it was, it was yeah oh, wow, <laughs> so, a little bit. so when you're creating swimwear mm -hmm. what is the process like honestly I see a lot of Instagram I follow a lot of swimwear pages on Instagram and I research a lot on like the web and um, basically do like little focus groups on what my consumers need and what they want um, and honestly I just Think of like what kind of swimsuits I've always wanted to be able to wear mm -hmm. and make those. And like seriously, like ones that 
the only they offer only in like small sizes and i'm like i want a swimsuit like that too but they don't offer my size so i'm gonna recreate this one mm -hmm. and then i also have my own unique designs as well so stuff that i've saw and i'm like oh that would be popping if i did it like this with this and you know stuff like that finding different patterns that look good on women with thick thighs and butts and everything like okay. you know so that's literally how it works for me so I see you brought in a few samples of your products. Yes, I did. Can you show us a little bit of what you have? Absolutely. So this suit is actually called yeah. Dominant. And this is a mesh thong bikini with crisscross straps on the hip. It's super Ooh, sexy, super stretchy. Hello mm -hmm. for my thick chicks out here who got some hips like me. I'm so y'all see this. Shit. Anyway. um. <laughs> Y'all see how I go. Anyway, oh, it's extra stretchy, super cute, like gold that. studs. And then we also have the top part. And I know you probably like how you fit in that. It's so small. However, it stretches like crazy. Like this is also stretched, but it's also underwire. So it lifts you up and it covers you. That's that true support. Real, the real kind. <laughs> and it also has the bra, like look, bra straps, hello, with the adjustables. Yes, You yes. see, you see? It's not no regular, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah you got the also black. The good stuff, I like that. You know, yeah. real cute. Mm -hmm. And so, um, also just FYI, these names that, of my swimwear also plays off of the Wicked brand name because it is considered like, when you think about the word Wicked, you think it's like more morally wrong, like causing trouble, problems, whatever. Mm -hmm. So when you think about it, most people who think plus size women are curvy women in a swimwear, swimsuit like that would be trouble. A problem mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so okay. we play off of it like yeah. that yeah, yeah. <laughs> like and then that. we have my uh one piece here this one is called trouble at sea and okay. this one is one piece also adjustable here we have pads in here this also turn us around and this one is actually a cheeky one not full bottoms but cheeky so if you're not afraid to you know what i'm saying show a little Cheek here, you know, it'll be all right for you. <laughs> <laughs> and this is just stripes with the colors. As you can see, most people refer, sorry, would reference this as like something like they would see, uh, like a captain, sailor, some type, something like that with the little things. And it's also support, stretchy, thick straps, thick elastic straps that will not hurt your neck or damn near burn your neck off Ooh, when you yeah, carrying true. heavy, you know what I'm saying, artillery up there, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so <laughs> that's what mom used to call them, bombettos. Yeah, so those are what that is. And I also, I offer sizes small to 4X, but because this is a plus size swimwear line, I'm gonna always have more of the plus size sizes than the smaller sizes. I just don't wanna discriminate and leave the smaller mm -hmm. women out because I feel like that's what smaller swimwear companies do to us. So mm -hmm. I wanted to fight against that and be like, hey, it's a collective here. We can all, you can all wear wicked swimwear. So how do you typically choose your designs? Um, basically once I put it out to the manufacturers and they, and I like the sample, then I'm like, okay, yes, I want that mass produced. Otherwise, I'm like, nah, that ain't really what I had in mind. It's not really giving me the vibe that I want. I'm really a perfectionist. And because of the fact that I'm like well known for like having it together in regards to my outfits, my clothes, and everything, I know people's standards are high mm -hmm. for this product. So when it comes to, I'm literally like putting it on my body, seeing how I like it, see how it fits. And if it doesn't, fit me well or if I'm feeling like something is off then I'm like no I'm good but it has to basically complement how it will look on me because most times when I'm realizing that when I put stuff on me it's like people want to know where they're from where they can get it and all that so I feel like as long as it complements me we good to go okay. what are some difficulties or some obstacles that you go through making the different or coming up with the different designs for your swimwear <sighs> The manufacturers, like, because, say for instance, I want to bedazzle a whole suit. Mm -hmm. If they don't have 
a source to get that, I'm going to have to be the one to find that, mm -hmm. ship it to them, and then see if they can do, ex basically do exactly what I said to do. If they can't, then it's a problem. So it's like a lot of money that goes into this, and I'm not funded. I'm take, basically taking my nine to five and using that money <laughs> to fund this. Mm, wow. So it's like um, just certain things like underwire. It took me three months to find somebody to source for underwire oh, wow. in China that worked with the manufacturer. Um, even the, the gold studs, all the detail about swimwear is so complicated. It's not just fabric and and um, like the bra inserts and the pads and all that stuff. If it's if it's only some simple plain swimwear, then you good to go. But because of who I am, I'm so extra, it's never just gonna be some plain white, black, regular colors. It's gonna be glitter, studs, rhinestones, under, I need everyone to have underwire unless it's like a regular like little two-piece bikini type of something that's real simple otherwise it has to be extra so basically the details and clothes with like me being extra and just finding out what they actually have to offer me mm -hmm. and putting that together that can be like obstacles like and then also to the turnaround time getting my samples it takes two to three weeks oh. so it's like I can't just like, hey, get this to me, ship and like they done with it and ship it back because it's in China. And then having to talk to the people, they're 16 hours, 15 hours ahead. So it's like when I when they're waking up, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to bed. <laughs> so like having to wake up yeah, in three home. in the morning, seeing a message, having to respond quick because I want this done quick, right? Yeah. So it's just those are some <laughs> major, major obstacles and difficulties. What are some important lessons that you have learned starting under your own business. Oh my God. How many you want? No. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, she's being patient, like literally, because nothing happens overnight and all of this stuff takes time. Also, knowing exactly what you want and not letting people tell you what you want. Mm -hmm. Also, realizing that the people closest to you will not be your biggest supporters. Um, and it's unfortunate. And it'll be somebody who knew you from way back when, who saw you coming up and was like, yeah, do that. Great. And when you start doing it, they no longer there. Or they, they, be, or they become like your biggest hater. And it's mm. sad. It's unfortunate. Um, somebody who really close to me actually, like, I was telling about my sister's swimsuit line, everything was all good. Everybody was all excited. Because I guess they thought, well, she's not going to actually do it. It sound good, but maybe she's not going to do it. But when you actually do it, you got photo shoots out, and you putting pictures out, and you putting branding out, and you got a website out, and all this, like, oh, wait a minute now. Oh, wait, I know. <laughs> it's like, oh, wait, I didn't know she was really, I didn't know she was really going to do it. And if she was, I didn't know she was going to do it this quick. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's just basically knowing that. Because I think that was the hurt, most hurtful, knowing that the people closest to you will not support you. And it sucks. <laughs> what is some advice you can give to the younger fashion or swimsuit designers out there? that can help them along their journey. Stay true to yourself, always. Be unapologetically you. Never let anybody deter you from your path or your journey. You will make it no matter what anybody says or what their thoughts are. Just always be you, because they cannot take that away from you, ever. It's so annoying. What is plus size? What is that? I don't range? even know. Like, <laughs> honestly, they think anything double digits is plus size. And I'm just like, so if your size, if you size 10, I would never consider you a plus size. But the society considers you plus size because you're past a double, you're, you're double digit. So anything in the I double feel digit like range. Anything that was, I mean, because my mom used to tell me, like, if you wasn't as skinny as a toothpick back in the day, you was considered plus size. Yeah. And my mom wore a size seven. Wow, And they no. considered her a plus wow, size. Wow, that's crazy. I said, Mom, I was wearing size seven in the fifth grade. <laughs> you <laughs> like, feel me? Hey, what you like, think? what? Been, like, literally, I have been thinking my entire life. People don't understand what that struggle is like. Like, I used to have to go. My mom would not let me go to school with shirts like this. She, I would have to wear a long T-shirt over my pants all every day. She would see me, uh, go, put a, go put a long shirt on. Why? I never understood, mm -hmm. right, because I was younger. I'm like, what the, f why am I going to put, nobody else got to put a long t-shirt on. Why me? Yeah. But then as I grew up and started to see, why? and I'm like, oh, 
oh, oh now okay. I know. Oh, I understand. Especially now when I see people and I'm like going somewhere, I'm a mom out, and it's like, yeah, I, I had actually watched a video of myself. I'm not even gonna lie. I did a photo shoot like two weeks ago, and the guy was videotaping me, basically just model and doing my thing and I was like damn like for my own self and I was like now I see why people be like well god that, that's a lot that's a lot going got a lot going on so like just going through that and being like this and then it's like how half the time it's hard to even understand if people like look at you as a fantasy or if you just oh, a wow. really real person that somebody's interested in so like I don't like it's very hard time dating that's a whole nother story but girl yeah <laughs> it, it's, it's crazy being I don't even know what being plus size is though to me I just I call my I consider myself curvy I don't label myself as plus size or all that BS um I just know I offer to women who consider themselves plus size so you, women you wear. offer curvy wear curvy yes. wear. <laughs> where do you see wicked swimwear in the next five years global everywhere okay. New York Fashion Week all day sold out everywhere all the time every collection i mean that's just how i feel like i'm gonna be new york fashion week paris fashion week doing my curvy wear swimwear girls out here doing our little fashion shows putting it out there to the world i truly believe in my brand and i know for a fact that with this being put in my brain and on my heart to do this i'm gonna execute it with the most like intricate detail you could possibly think of and i'm gonna really kill it like that's just how i feel like i'm extremely confident in myself especially when it comes to stuff like this i know what women like i know what they want i know what it takes to basically build a brand and all, honestly all it is is building it off confidence having the confidence to actually go out there and be like yeah i put this on now what yeah i don't have a perfect body and what i still wear i'm still rocking it i can still take your man how about that no i'm just <laughs> i'm just I'm just playing. I'm just kidding. But seriously, though, okay. it's all do about you, do you confidence. feel like you have any competition out there? I'm in my own lane on my own highway. Ain't nobody else on it. Okay. And everybody, whoever want to do their thing, they can do their thing. But Wicked Swimwear is in its own realm. Like I don't own think lane. about I don't think about no competition because okay. I am the competition. 2018 summer is coming up. What yes. can our curvy women and all types of women expect Damn. from your line? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so honestly, May um, my official launch date will be May 11th, but we are accepting pre-orders on April 11th. All you got to do is go to www.wicked don't forget the dash swimwear.com, and you can be pre-order. I will have six exclusive designs available for pre-order, and it will be limited. So if you do not get your, if you don't get your order in, girl, I can't help you. You're going to miss out on Memorial Day weekend in Vegas or Miami, wherever you're going to go. I can't help you. So do your, do your due diligence and make sure you pre-order. So May 11th, you can have it because those who pre-order on April 11th will have their swimwear shipped out on the actual launch date. If you wait till the launch date to order, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it to you by then, but I can do my very best. <laughs> Where can we find you on social media? Where can we cop the merch? Okay, so Wicked Swimwear on Instagram. And you can also follow my personal page at Danelle Catrice. Also Wicked Swimwear on Facebook. Website is wicked-swimwear.com for pre-orders April 11th. I want to thank the lovely Danelle so much for coming in to do this Raw First Class interview. Make sure you guys follow her on all social media outlets, Instagram, Facebook. Also, like and subscribe to this video. All right? Comment. Show love. I'm your host, Livy D, and we out.